welcome back to a new video today i have with me the new hyundai ionic 5 and in this video it's all about driving i will drive the car and i will give you my feedback the great part is that i have with me the rear wheel drive version also it comes with a bigger battery 72.6 kilowatt hour and this is the middle uh, range version so at least here in switzerland where i am uh, they call it Amplia. So this is the middle uh, range version. It's not the entry version. I will show you and I will make a video, separate video with the entry level version and also with the top end version. Also, I have a separate video with this a car that I will drive it today the middle range version I have a separate video review interior exterior technical data everything about this car you can find out in other videos so check the other video out if it's not already on my channel probably will come soon so click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come out also the starting price of this car that I have it with me it's 54,900 francs with uh, some extra color 850 francs and minus bonus because here at Parisi Automobile I will leave the link in the description if you want to buy the car if you want to check it out if you are around switzerland check them out also tell them uh, you come from me tell them you have seen my video and they will make you a nice discount the final price will be 53,750 francs this is the entry level version and it's just amazing i mean it has a lot of great features like head-up display led lights safety features multimedia i will show you later also if you want to see more details the space the material quality the multimedia uh, all the features of the car check out the review video there you find out more information about the car now let's go to the technical data i want to tell you that the car that i have it with me come with a rear wheel drive motor and it has 218 horsepower 350 newton meters also the range of the car vltp 481 kilometers also uh, the maximum charging speed of the ionic 5 is just unique guys it's 350 kilowatt in dc this is incredible you can charge the car 100 kilometer in five minutes or 10% to 90% in 18 minutes in terms of charging speed this is one of the best on the market better than tesla model 3 better than all other cars the top speed 185 km per hour 0 to 107.4 seconds also the wheelbase 3 meters of the car that although to have much more space here inside the cabin you can check out the other video there you see how much space you have it's just incredible with a flat floor uh, the car is gorgeous the ground clearance 14 centimeters ventilated brake discs on the rear ventilated brake discs on the front the car come with 19 inch rims that i have here with me also you can get it with 20 10.6 meter turning radius the trunk space 531 liters if you fall down all the seats 1591 liters of course independent mcpherson suspension with coil spring anti-roll bar in the front semi-independent suspension coil spring with anti-roll bar on the rear now guys that you know all the technical data about the car let's drive it and let's see how it's on the road guys all right guys so let's drive the car here is the key by the way i don't know if you see it before it's the same key as the hyundai use it on tucson or santa fe you can also open the trunk electrically you can turn on the the motor electrically you can open the electric uh, flap there also you can lock the car and unlock the car from here it comes also with electronic folding mirrors and it's worked perfectly and also when you want to unlock it you just come here unlock it and then it comes with this great handle uh, also great quality on this handle and not only the handle had good quality but also the doors you can hear the doors they have very good quality but all about that guys I don't want to make this video too long uh, also you can leave the key here or you can leave it down there or you can leave it right here it's a lot of space here I don't want to make this video too long I have a separate video interior review exterior all the elements all the features in the car check out on my channel guys the video probably it's already there if it's not already there click the subscribe button to see uh, the notification when the review with Ionic 5 will come but you will see how many USB you will see how much space you have you will see everything about this car finally a car where i can put my camera my big huge camera here in the middle without running around here in the car it's just incredible spacious so much space here in the car so many usb port lovely design i love those seats leather uh, those are leather vegan kind of eco-friendly 
leather seats it's not a proper leather but it feels it looks like leather and they are amazing those seats are really soft and comfortable i love them i love them i tell you i drive the car last days a few times and i love i love those seats the seats are lovely and you can adjust it electrically from here in every position you want electric adjustment and keep in mind those are not the full top end version seats they have another seat that you are allowed to go all the way on the back i will review also that version of the car aluminium pedals guys keep in mind the car come with aluminium pedals and the pedals look lovely i don't know if you can see it from here but you can see in the full review all those information uh, also the car come with 19 inch rims and anyway yeah let me put the seat belt everything feel really good quality inside the car here's the start engine button on the glossy black plastic here the climatic system work perfectly right here it's very very simple to adjust it it looks super premium and nice also the gear shifter it's right here behind the steering wheel guys all you have to do the same as on the volkswagen id just rotate it forward for drive rotate it backward for reverse and parking button it's here on the side just press this parking button now car it's in parking when you go in reverse the car come also with the camera reverse camera the resolution is not the best but uh, also keep in mind the full version of the car come with 360 degrees cameras so that's something to keep in mind i will make another video with the full version also the car come with a head-up display i don't know if you can see it so well it's perfect i mean the head-up display it's with augmented reality it looks somehow like three-dimensional it show you the roots and the left and right i will also put it here if i go to map I will put a destination guys for example just like that doesn't matter it's just for the purpose uh, of the trip also the navigation and the visibility is just incredible on the multimedia here 12 inch display 12 inch display gorgeous visibility also on the left side you can put your phone like that you have a magnetic uh, plate metallic plate there where you can put your notes or wherever you want to put it here on the left side and great visibility great steering wheel uh, very soft and nice you have the driving mode uh, button right here we can change different driving mode normal echo and sport we will drive in echo we will change the different driving mode also you can see we have 460 kilometer range left uh, on the battery and we will see how it's doing i will also reset the trip right there now it's zero we will see the consumption at the end of the trip great visibility in the mirrors blind spot technology as well uh, also good visibility i can see also in this mirror and very good driving position right here here you have the uh, electronic handbrake and auto hold button it's here on the left side keep in mind down here on this glossy plastic also keep in mind you can see right there on the screen also you have those pedals behind the steering wheel from pedals you can change the different regenerative mode you can see level one right now while you're driving you can see here is changing the mode the driving and the regenerative uh, it's from those pedals here also if you want to find out more information check out the other video guys in the uh, full review video you find out more information uh, about the car anyway let's go in the reverse right now the car it's on it's incredible silent also what i notice is the fact that you cannot hear so much noise from from the exterior i mean the car it's incredible good uh the insulation it's very very good also very easy to to park here and yeah anyway let's drive it now when you're driving you can change the look at this level three i pedal i pedal on mean that you can drive one pedal drive and the car will go to a completely stop for example i do nothing look at this i accelerate a little bit i stop and then the car is stop and then auto hold it's on how cool is that so you can use this one pedal drive i pedal drive if you want to take out click this for a few seconds off uh, and you have auto mode level one level two or auto mode for example if i accelerate a little bit and i brake i can put it on let me hold it okay level one level two level three regenerative and one pedal three two one zero and if i press it for a few seconds it will go in auto mode so the car will choice for you the driving mode for example right now it's an auto mode and i hold it let me hold those uh, pedals for a few seconds one two three seconds and or the other one i don't remember yeah just like that okay good now it's level zero one great let's drive it guys
very silent the driving position is much taller than tesla model 3 look at this there is the, my tesla model 3 it's much taller driving position um i noticed before when i drive it that the suspension are very comfortable and very good i know no i don't want you to speak with me okay very good very tall driving position like a proper crossover guys you're not like an suv very high but it's like a proper perfect crossover tall driving position safety uh, it's here you feel safe inside this car it's very silent very smooth it's very smooth when you're driving uh, you don't even feel like you're driving like you're floating going over the bumps is doing a great job i don't know if you can see the head-up display but it looks really really nice really interesting like a three-dimensional uh shape you can see it show me now go left. left it's really interesting i really have to show you that uh, i think even the volkswagen id3 have this feature uh on it i see it but i didn't test it i didn't have it on any cars but now when i see it it looks wow i mean you don't even need this uh, cockpit or multimedia when you have all that information right there um, as i said good visibility on the windows on the side very silent inside you cannot hear so much noise from outside right now we are in echo mode and we are in recuperation mode zero one you can see right now level one it's recuperate a little bit more level two recuperate even more level three it's maximum if i accelerate and then let the foot oh yeah it's much more aggressive really interesting and level zero it's like rolling right now when i take the foot out like this it's rolling just rolling 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 In 200 meters, wow it feels so good quality to be honest guys it feels really good quality the car the pedals the acceleration it's so smooth and nice let's recuperate here okay level two level three recuperation going here going left right here on the dark side wow i don't know i think now you can see even better you can see the ambient light inside the car right now um, it looks really good i like the the background light of the buttons it's so unique and so nice also the head-up display look good uh, the screens look nice now the turning radius let's try the turning 10.6 meter turning radius and you can see it is really good you can turn the car in so small spaces great visibility on the windows there very easy very agile the car also the steering it's very soft and nice i like it change the driving mode it's very simple from the steering wheel down here now we are in normal mode and i can feel yeah it's a little bit more aggressive i like it wow it's feel nice also the wipers are gorgeous i mean so soft you don't even hear them accelerate oh wow oh wow it has a little bit of punchy 200 and oh yeah 218 horsepower you feel a little bit of torque 350 um, newton meters torque yeah it's nice i like it i like it it's nice to drive guys i don't know the feeling it's so different In so special meters, turn right and then left so special so nice it's lovely it's lovely it's so smooth this is the word pedals acceleration brake everything feel very smooth and very nice and i like it i really like it now, let's right go to one pedal drive right now it's one pedal drive and yes in one pedal drive when you take the foot off the acceleration uh it's like level three it's it's actually regenerate very aggressively and it will in go to a stop so right. you can use it you can anticipate like that and you can get some great consumption until now we have 18.6 kilowatt hour 186 um, kilowatt consumption it's it's quite good consumption not bad at all also you have the cruise control by the now way here right. you can turn it on from here the cruise control and you can set it up cruise yes cruise thank you 
and then right now the car will cruise you can choose the 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 speed that you want to cruise at just 77 lane assist activate and autopilot activate you can see a, a nice steering right now on the head-up display i don't know if you can see that steer steering wheel in green and now the car look at this will keep the the lane for me i will have the hands here for for the safety but it will keep the lane it will keep between the lanes and it's doing a good yeah relatively good job you have to pay attention anyway on the highway you should do a good job also you can in 200 meters leave the roundabout you can slow exit. down from here just like that and right now the car is also holding uh, the steering wheel and it's doing a good job on the highway it should be really really exit. really nice really nice feeling really agile the car i like the steering wheel it's so easy to drive it so easy on the roundabout look at this so easy and the, the suspension mcpherson suspension independent suspension they feel so good they feel so agile look at this lovely 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 car love it guys let me activate again the cruise control let's go now okay 73 and just have the hands here for the safety pay attention to the road touch it a little bit let's see here on the curve how it's doing oh yeah look at this it's doing a good job it's not perfect not like a tesla but still doing a great job and on the highway i'm sure um, will be just perfect anyway let me turn it off and let's take the control from here from driving mode i like how easy it is to change the driving mode let's go in sport mode right now in sport mode you can see even the graphics on the screen are changing in red some kind of nice red ah i like it i like the car guys it's it's really nice car now the steering wheel it's a little bit more stiffer more sportier great grip on the steering wheel i love this leather steering wheel the shape of the steering wheel it's so unique so nice so futuristic it's like i'm driving a car from the future what i noticed the suspension are very good over the bumps are the same no matter in which mode you are sport eco comfort the suspension are the same are very good uh, the visibility is perfect the steering it's it's super super uh soft and nice and um you have a great great control over it great steering uh, i like the gear shifter i like those stalks they are new stalks here behind the steering wheel they feel also very nice um it's lovely lovely car great great uh, visibility on the multimedia system great visibility on the cockpit around the windows let's try an acceleration here there's nobody behind guys so we can do like almost zero and then accelerate oh yeah pretty nice i love it lovely you feel a little bit a little bit of torque um, it's not super aggressive maybe the four-wheel drive will be much more aggressive but still enough speed uh, to accelerate and it's 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 nice also in sport mode a little bit more uh, direct so the the steering it's much more um, stiffer and you have a better control I should say not a big difference uh, but still you feel a little bit of difference yeah other than that it's nice if you leave it a little bit to to recuperate the energy and then you accelerate you feel that torque even more uh than you when you start from zero yeah i like i like the car turn right it's nice i really like it now we are in one pedal drive and in one pedal drive for example uh, you don't even need to use the brake right now i don't use the brake i accelerate i take the foot out and the car is actually um use the maximum regenerative brake uh to get back the, the meters, turn right. 
the energy in the battery right now until now from when we start the trip we lost only one percent of the battery we have 97 percent it was 98 percent and the consumption until now it's 14.9 149 kilowatts hour so it's really good consumption um i like very much the head-up display i don't know if i can show you guys but it's so nice really really nice it looks really good not sure if you can see it right there but it's it's lovely lovely now turn right and then leave the roundabout at the first exit leave at the first exit look at this right now the car it's totally brake i don't even use the brake and it's stop that's one pedal drive now leave the roundabout splendid you have the power you have the comfort you have the great right visibility right. look at this it's just stop for me i don't even use the brakes and look how easy i go in over the bumps it's doing such a good job great job really great job lovely i love it i love the car if you want to park it just go like that please refer to go in reverse and then park it in just one second it's so easy to drive it's it's lovely move perfect going forward just like that going backward just like that it's it has also some warnings that warn you it's something there in the back sensors and stuff like that safety features lovely car guys also electronic handbrake it's down here perfect that was the test drive i mean guys lovely car i don't know what to say i drive it before i'm not so excited because i drive it before and i was really excited when i drive it first time it's a lovely car my rating from 1 to 10 will be 9.9 .9. i love the car it's just almost perfect i mean it's lovely everything it's lovely when you drive it's so smooth so nice so easy to drive incredible that was the test drive guys if you want to find out more information interior exterior space stuff like that i have a separate video full review check that out on my channel if it's not already there just click the subscribe button to see when that video will come out also very good visibility very good suspensions great safety features lovely pedals very smooth very nice driving mode everything is great even the consumption guys uh it's great you can see 14.1 kilowatt hour and i drive somehow mix great consumption i think if you drive until 120 km per hour i think you can get some gorgeous uh, consumption out of this car and i like very much these different driving modes like the pedals you can change the different driving modes i like that like level 3 level 2 i pedal all that stuff i wish i had it on my tesla i wish i had that rolling uh, option it's just lovely great job hyundai I really appreciate it. I love your car. Really love it. Guys, as always, if you want to buy the car, I will leave the link in the description to Parisi Automobile. Tell them you are from me. You will get a discount. Also, uh, don't forget to check out our website, sdadancar.com. There you find a lot of articles about cars, videos, news, tips, and stuff like that. Please like, share. Uh, I will really appreciate guys. Also, don't forget to subscribe to see the latest cars on the market. Thank you very much for watching my video. Stay safe and see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.